Welcome. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We back. I'm so excited. Today, we are talking about all things crochet hair. It is a popular protective style and I've become something like a crochet queen. So I'm gonna share um, five super easy, super important tips with you to help you enjoy your crochet and keep your natural hair healthy in the process. But first, you know, I gotta ask, have you subscribed? Subscribe. Um, here, we talk about faith, family, fitness, beauty, a little bit of everything, parenting, marriage, we talk about it all. I just share what has worked for me and a whole lot of stuff that hasn't with you in hopes that it will help you. So this is a community of love and light and sharing. So hit subscribe, share this content, comment, let me know about your crochet experience and yeah, we gonna get it popping. All right, let's get into it. So let's start with the basics for anybody who may not know. What is crochet styling or crocheted hair or crochet protective styles? Anything crochet means that your hair, your natural hair is braided to your scalp like cornrow and then crocheted hair or braids are then uh, sewn, for lack of a better word, into your hair. That might sound dangerous or straining on your hair, but it really is not. If you have a great stylist, or if you know what you're doing, I know a lot of people who do their own crochet, not my testimony at all, but it is great um, for protective styling. Most of the crochet hair, pre-braided hair that you can buy is very lightweight, so there's not a bunch of stuff pulling and tugging on your scalp. The fact that your natural hair is completely braided um, is great. You don't have, sometimes with individual braids, um, like box braids, micro braids, anything that takes really small pieces of your hair and then is braided down, there that can put extra tension on your hair. Now, if you have a great stylist, that should still uh, be healthy and safe also, but a lot of times that doesn't happen. But crochet, on the other hand, really is a safe technique for protective styling because your natural hair is cornrowed and there is not a lot of stress or strain on it. The other thing that is great about crochet is that you can access your scalp. You can get in there, um, you can massage your scalp, you can oil your scalp and you should, and we're gonna talk about that in the video, but the access to your scalp makes it a great alternative to um, sew-ins or other kind of traditional weaves because you can access your scalp so you can clean your scalp and it's just a better overall experience. So that's just a quick rundown on what crochet styles are. So we're gonna talk about five tips today, five easy things to help you have a bomb crochet experience every time and to keep your hair healthy in the process. So first, you might ask, what kind of hair should I pick? Um, there are endless options out there. I mean, so many options for types of hair, styles, hair that is pre-braided and stays braided. So like um, you can do crochet faux locks, um, just traditional braids. This is, this is what would be considered loose hair. So the options are endless for the styles that you can do. So do some research. Um, there's tons of YouTube videos out there. See what you like on other people and help determine what you might like on yourself. So do some research um, and then go from there. What I have in right now is one of my favorites, especially for loose hair. I don't do a lot of a loose hair with crochet, um, but this one, is my favorite. And this curl pattern is called Go Go Curl by Freetress. And um, it looks like this, it comes like this. Oops, I got it upside down. <laughs> it comes like this. And it is $5.99, a bundle or a bag, whatever you wanna call it. And I have a lot of natural hair. My hair is thick and um, medium length. I won't call it long yet, but it's medium length. And so I need about five and a half of these for my appointment. And some people need as few as three. Um, some people need as many as six. I've never heard of anybody needing more than six of these. 
but I always get six to be on the safe side and we never end up going through all of them. So this is Go Go Curl and I love it. I don't know what it is. I just think the first time I watched, I watched a video, I watched somebody else's video on this curl pattern and loved it. And I said, I wonder what that would look like on me. And I just fell in love with it. I love that it's a curl that's not too tight, um, but it's also not too loose. It's not a wave, um, but there are some really pretty waves out there. I just fell in love with this one. And I like how it can look natural depending on the color you choose and depending on how long you choose to get it. So this is Gogo Curl by Free Tress and I just love it. So do some investigation. Free Tress is a really trusted brand. A lot of braiders will tell you that uh, they like working with Free Tress. That's the other thing too. Talk to your stylist, whoever is going to be doing your crochet and ask them about brands they trust and brands they prefer. Be specific with your stylist. Tell her, I'm not a middle part girl. I, I with my natural hair, with braids, with anything, I just, I don't look right with a middle part. So we talked about how deep we want my part and I kind of swoop it and swing it over to the side. And that just works for me. I love a deep part. And so we ta I talked to my stylist about that. We had a conversation. The last thing you want to do is leave the shop hating your hair. Even though crochet is super easy to manipulate, that's another thing that I love about it. You can do anything you want with it. You can wear it completely down, half up, half down, all up in a bun, in a ponytail. Um, and you guys know, I work out a lot. I sweat a lot. So crochet is super easy for me. But talk to your stylist so that you um, have a good idea of what you're getting and you know you're gonna love it when you leave there. So that's number one. Research your types of hair and your options, and then talk to your stylist about brands and curl patterns and go from there. Number two, this is super important for the health of your hair. Y'all, I beg of you, do not braid up your edges. It's tempting because it looks so neat. It's snatched and clean. Don't do it. So my edges are not braided up, they are not corn rolled, um, and therefore they don't have the crochet sewn into it. So your edges, I don't care if you have full beautiful edges, our edges are parts of the most fragile part of our hair. So having even just a little bit of tension from the hair on it could be detrimental to our beautiful delicate edges. And I um, had issues after both of my pregnancies where I lost hair pretty, pretty severely um, around my whole air, hairline. So my edges weren't completely gone, but they suffered a little bit. So do not let your stylist braid up your edges, please please. And if they try to just ask them, just be really polite. Like, you know, I don't, I don't want my edges braided down. I will use some edge control and maintain it that way. So edge control is super vital to helping your crochet style last and still look clean even, you know, weeks down the line. So some brands, the one I really, really like for edge control is this edge booster. Um, it's $8.49 and you can get it at any hair store and they have all these um, different colors and scents. This is the pineapple scent. I like this one, but this edge booster, um, I like it because it has what I would consider a strong hold, not a super strong hold, but it has a strong enough hold to lay my edges down. And after I put a scarf on for maybe about 10 minutes, they are pretty laid. So it's not super strong like um, some of the Gorilla Glues. Have, have y'all seen that? I've used that too. But I don't know what is in that that, I mean, if you want your edges laid and slayed and not moving, that Gorilla Glue will get you all the way together. But I feel like there's something in there that might not be so healthy for our hair because I felt like um, I, was, I started to lose hair, the really delicate hairs around my edges. So be careful with that. Gorilla snot, that's what it's called, gorilla snot, um, because I think there's something in there that causes it to be, to have that super, super hold that may not be good for our hair. So this edge booster is my favorite right now. I also use um, the Murray's um, beeswax, edge wax stuff. Y'all know that stuff. I use that occasionally, but this is my, my new favorite and I feel like it is still healthy. So leave them edges out, girl. Just find something to lay them down, get your little toothbrush and put your scarf on and then you're good to go. You're good to go. So don't braid up those edges. It will save your whole life. Number three, 
moisturizing your hair while it's braiding. So I told you guys we were gonna talk about the access to the scalp. That's super important. That's one of the reasons why it can be healthier than a sew-in because you have direct access to your scalp. So you want to find either a dry shampoo product that you can get in between the braids and spray directly on your scalp and massage it in. Dry shampoo does not have to be washed out. So there are plenty of brands that make a dry shampoo. The other thing you can do is create your own um, conditioning concoction, which is what I do. Um, I get a spray bottle and I fill it with a little bit of conditioner, maybe like a quarter of the way of conditioner and the rest of it is water. Our hair needs water. Our hair needs just natural moisture from water. So I fill it with about 25% of a leave-in conditioner and the rest of the bottle is water. And every few days I will go in and spray my scalp and then I will massage it in and then I will just let it rest. And do this, don't do this when you have your crochet all up in a bun, you need access to your entire scalp. So spray your whole scalp down either with the dry shampoo or the conditioning concoction and give it a good old scalp rub. It will feel so good. And this will help um, cut down on the itching. I sweat a lot in my head. It's super crazy. Like I sweat more when I work out, I'm dripping sweat from my head and then sometimes my armpits Okay, this is too much information, but you know, y'all, I keep it real. Um, but I sweat a lot in my head, uh, more than any other place on my body. So in order for that not to build up and for me not to have just gross dirt and all of that, it's really important that I maintain the cleanliness and moisture of my scalp um, while it's braided up in crochet. So that's super important. Make sure you are moisturizing your scalp and keeping it as clean as possible while you are enjoying these lovely styles. Number four, and this is, I promise y'all, I'm so excited to tell y'all this. This is a super hack and maybe other people who get crochet do it. I haven't seen, but um, it has been my favorite thing about having crochet. Y'all, cut your hair. Cut the hair. So I think it's always safer to get it a little longer than you might think you want it and then either have your stylist cut it up or you cut, you cut it up yourself um, as the weeks progress. That is my favorite thing to do with this style. So I've had it a few weeks and I've cut it a little bit already. Um, when I first got it, I think it was down here. So I have definitely cut it up some, but when I tell you there would be lot, a lot more cutting that would be happening, by the time I take it out, which is gonna be in a few more weeks, um, it will be at my shoulder. I will definitely cut off another um, two inches of this hair. And I just love the, the diversity I have in being able to do that. Um, the ends can sometimes, with hair that is loose like this, they can get like ratty and natty and um, start to look frizzy. So trimming it helps um, maintain that so that, you know, when you're at week four or week five, it doesn't just look gross and all matted together. So trimming it helps with that, but it also helps to keep it bouncy, just like, with our natural hair, have you seen anybody who had longer hair and then they cut it into a, a bob and then all of a sudden it looks like bouncier and fuller? It's the same with this kind of hair. So cutting it up as you go along helps to keep it bouncy and full and fresh and it gives you that diversity. Um, so yeah, cut the hair, y'all. Like it's, it's, it's so, it's fun. And then you feel like you refreshed the style and that you don't have to go back as early. So if you get the loose hair, which is what this is considered, not hair that stays braided. So not like faux locks. I mean, I guess you could cut faux locks, but this is really important if you get any kind of loose hair crochet style. Cut it up. You need to cut it. <laughs> okay. All right. Lastly, let's wrap this up. This, you guys, this tip will save your whole life when you're taking these braids out. So unfortunately, your girl had to learn this the hard way. When you take your crochet hair out, honey, Please condition your hair and detangle before you get into the shower to wash it or however you wash your hair. Don't take your hair out, these braids out, and then unbraid all of your hair and then immediately wet your hair and wash it. You are asking for disaster. 
Okay, like I'm not exaggerating. It, it, it will be disastrous. Um, so I, my hair sheds a lot anyway. Always has. I have a ton of hair and it used to bother me. Like when I would wash my hair, I would lose so much hair. I'm like, I could make a whole wig. I don't know. I just shed a lot of hair. But I'm telling you the first couple times after I took my crochet hair out, I could have donated whole heads of hair to Locks of Love. That's how much hair I was losing. And because I did not know that you should condition your hair immediately after you take the braids out. So uninstall your crochet. That's a fancy word. Uninstall your crochet. Take the hair out. Uh, and the way you take crochet out is so there's a knot. That's what when your stylist puts uh, the braids in, whether it's loose hair or whether it's hair that stays braided, there will be a knot that connects it to to your hair so don't get so close that you cut your hair you want to cut below the knot not above the knot i don't want to get super detailed in this video but cut cut below the knot not above so you cut below the knot and that releases the knot and then the, the crochet hair just comes out. So you do that, it takes a while, and then you gotta go through the tedious process of unbraiding your hair. And your stylist, my stylist is so amazing. She gets fancy with these braid patterns underneath here because my hair is so thick, she has to be creative. She can't just braid it straight back. Um, so she does this design to where it's not as thick and it lays to my scalp, but you've got to unbraid um, all of your hair and then you'll have this beautiful kinky crinkly fro uh, from your hair being braided up so long. But the next thing you need to do immediately is condition your hair. Do not wet it. Condition it then detangle it. You want to do some finger detangling first, and then you want to get a super, super wide tooth comb and continue to detangle. Then you want to rinse that out. Then you want to shampoo, and that will save you from the heartache of losing so much hair, whether you are a shedder or not. Um, just keep in mind that your hair has been braided up for weeks. Some people keep their crochet in as few as two or three weeks, and some keep it in as long as 10 weeks. I wouldn't recommend that long, but um, six to eight is about the average for a cro crochet style. So six to eight weeks, your hair has been braided up and they say we can lose anywhere from, when our hair is just out, anywhere from 100 to 200 strands of hair a day. So just keep in mind, your hair has not been shedding that naturally because it's been braided. So don't be alarmed. You will have some shedding, but you want to reduce that as much as possible. So you need to condition your hair before you wash it after your crochet. So there we are. I hope this video helped you. Um, crochet really helped me transition from relaxing my hair to going full blown natural. Because when I first, I, the first crochet I got, my hair wasn't even long enough. Um, I had to get braiding hair to get my hair cornrowed before she could even put the crochet hair in. That's how short my hair was. Um, I didn't do a big chop, but I had cut my hair and gotten my last relaxer a few months prior to getting the crochet. So she had to braid braiding hair into my hair just to be able to cornrow it down to my scalp. Um, yeah, that's how long I've been getting crochet. But I fell in love with it because it really is an amazing protective style. There's so much diversity you can have. You can do so many fun things. I do things with color that I would never do with my natural hair. My hair does not take to lighter colors too well. Um, anything you need a ton of bleach to lift it, my hair just does not do well with that. So with crochet, I'm able to experiment with lighter styles and some blondes and some oranges and some reds that I can't necessarily do on my natural hair if I, if I want to keep it healthy. So there you have it. Um, let me know about your crochet experience in the comments. Have you ever had it? Are you thinking about it? What questions might you have? Um, another thing is it's cost effective. Again, the bundles are between five and eight dollars and um, you need anywhere from three to six of those. And then if you keep it in for six weeks, you, ha you don't have to pay anybody to style your hair that entire time. So it saves money also. That's the other thing I love about it. And I ain't got to worry about it in the gym. Like I can just put it up and go and then when I'm done, put it down and I am done. So I love it. Did you enjoy this video? I hope so. 
please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Again, we talk about faith, family, marriage, fitness, food, kids. We talk about a little bit of everything. So I would love to have you as a part of the Shaped community. My philosophy is you shape your story, you shape your life. That's it. Keep pushing. You got this.